guys? Slime Link here today and welcome back to Transport Fever! I didn't forget about it, I uh, just haven't played it in a while. So, what I have learned though, thanks to your comments and just watching some other videos on YouTube, is kind of what this game fails to explain, is that for, you know, delivery of logs and all that kind of stuff to work, it kind of needs to be a completed circuit, and by that, or a completed supply chain, I guess. So what we need to do... Yeah, because the game does not explain that at all. What we need to do, if we want to keep... Because these logs are just sitting there. If we want to keep using them, we have to get the logs from here. Send them off to wherever to be cut up, like into planks. Which will be over here. Then we have to send the planks wherever the planks need to be used. Uh, and really, just going to complete all the supply chains. Otherwise, the goods will just pile up. Which is something that I didn't understand. Because the game didn't explain it. I think it explains it a little bit better now. Uh, sometimes, I, I think it will have like warnings of... I think they'd update it. It's a little bit clearer, but it's still not really. Um, and I definitely didn't understand that because of the way that, uh, you know, games I've played in the, pa the past work, like Locomotion or Transport Tycoon, they kind of just let you deliver as much of you want as you want of anything. And the, yeah, I don't know. They, they never had to complete the, like, the supply chain or anything. So what the hell are we doing? Because it's been so long since I played this. We have a few lines here, which I believe are buses going back and forth, which are making us pretty good money. Well, I say that it's only two thousand, but uh, bus. I say buses, horse and cart. Uh, these trains are doing okay. Two hundred thirty-seven thousand. Mostly the trains are making us money, which is not bad. Where are the trains? I, I, this map is so freaking huge. I don't know where I put them. Uh, gotta find the trains. Find the where? I don't know where they are. Over here. Oh, here we go. Here's, here's the train line. So on the train we have 42 people. Not bad. On this one we have 42 people. Oh, we are... Guys, we are doing okay. We, we are doing okay. We just need to continue doing that. Uh, so it might be an idea to try and maybe build another train line. I think I wanted to go out to Glendale. That'd be a good idea to get a little branch going up that way. I might even try and double track this entire... Uh, this entire little stretch that we have here. It shouldn't be too bad. We got a bit of money. Also, we can just take out a crazy loan. The game kind of just lets you take as much money as you want. Uh, so, you know, that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, let's just take out some money and not worry about it. Oh, and they take out 10 million? Well, I guess maybe we have to worry a little bit about it. <laughs> I guess we have to worry a little bit. Uh, I, 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 thought, I thought I could take Another game, maybe the, what, I don't even know what I've set this game on. Maybe the difficulty or something is a bit different. Right, so what I would rather do is have it come straight off like that. But I think I'm going to have to move these signals. So if I remove that, so instead of getting it to turn or, and all that, we can just get it to go straight. No, 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 straight, straight along. There you go. Boom! Right, where is the track down here? Because we should probably just... At least double track this section, the first section, because we're going to have a lot of trains run, running up and down this bit of track if we're going to have two branches coming off of it. So this has come right across to there. 89,000. That's actually not bad when we have 6 million, so we're pretty good. So this can not do that. This can go there, get rid of that bit, and then we're going to get out you. So that will continue around, but it will also go from there. Damn it. Go from here. And then, nope, go from here. Oh, there we go. Yes, that's what I want. So then that can, as you can see, continue straight on. Hopefully at max speed. Might have to slow down at the little crossings. I'm not really sure. But hopefully all the way along. And then we'll just do this. You know, we'll just, we'll just double it. We'll double it up. I don't think I want to do it all the way, actually. <laughs> Thinking about that. But anyway, so let's go. Let's get the left track here. Pull this around. Nice and smooth, max speed all the way through there. Even though the trains are not going to be that fast, that's fine. Let's figure out where the station's going to go. Because there'd be an idea. So if this is going to be a train line, let's see if we can get the station in a spot that we could continue it on. So if we get it like here, then we could probably have a train line go that way. And it'll just have branches upon branches of train lines. And I think it's going to be sick. It's going to be sick. Right, I'm going to do this. We're going to go double track right away. Uh, second Street Connection, no. So if we get this about there, sure, and then just connect up the road to that, which I think we're just using a small street. Is that what we have? Nope. We have a medium. And that will just go right there, because then it just connects to both those areas, which is pretty good. So train tracks are going to come around this way. What were you in? 1865. Oh, okay. I think we're doing fine. Six point. Oh, you know what? I was saying that we couldn't get a huge loan. 
but 10 million in 1865. Jesus! That, no, that is a... <laughs> uh, is there like an online tool to figure out what the uh, inflation would be? Uh, let's figure it out. Let's see. Online inflation calculator. Okay, so we can't go back to 1865. I've I checked a few different sites. It seems they only have data for 1913 and onward for some reason. But if we did it in 1913, which keeping in mind is still about, what, 40 years away, 10 million would be $244.1 million. And that's 1913. So 50 years before that. Jesus. Wow. Okay, so yeah, no, we got a pretty big loan. Uh, that hopefully puts into perspective a little bit. In that case, because, uh, yeah, to be quite frank, when we build these, we're not spending any money. It's $139,000. It's like, nothing! We're fine. We are more than fine. We're great. So at the end, or after the track here, I'm just going to do a little crossover. I don't know which way it's going to go. We'll just do that. Can I just do one? Coming back, please. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Nice, so they can cross both ways. So this will go all the way down there. Uh, let's just reset up these signals. Over Actually, let's uh, connect this back through because we should probably get this joined up so that this whole section is double tracked. So that'll go there. And this will probably have to do... I don't know, they're, they're, no, no, that's fine because they, they'll just use the... Actually, you know what? I'm going to double track this as well. Uh, upgrade two tracks. Apply. Because we will need to... Because what we'll do, we'll set it up so one line uses one side of the track, the other line will use the other side. So I think that'll make a bit of sense. So we'll go about, I guess just right in front of the station here. Is that joined properly? Is that, a, is that joined? Yeah, I think it is. It just didn't look like it was joined properly. Too much slope. What? Well, screw you. All right, well, I'll do a swap over just here then. So they can go both ways. Right, let me just delete these signals because we'll, we'll replace some of these signals just because I don't really know what I've done in the past. And also, I need to move them anyway. Okay, you go away. Right, signals. Uh, here we go. Right, so what we're going to do... So trains always travel on the right. They might have to stop here for any trains coming out of this area. Might have to stop there. They might have to... Well, they have to stop... Wait. I got the train traveling on the left. Oh, well, that's only because it... Why did they only have one carriage? I think it glitched out, but that's fine. Uh, that's because we only had one track before, so that's fine. Uh, and then we'll have... No, actually, probably just there's fine, because this whole section here is kind of like the changeover. So we'll get one there. Uh, we'll get a, get a whole bunch of them along the track as well, just in shorter distances, so they can be closer together as well. Like that. And then like that, just after that merge point. Get another one there. Just before the road, because why not? Because that the wait there, you don't want them waiting across the road. Right there and there. There and there. And then definitely around this whole junction area, we're going to need them. So there and there. And then this one, that's pretty much fine to that point. This one might have to wait there. This one might have to wait here. And this one can have... Let's go a little further up. There and there before the road. Just a bunch of signals so the trains can be pretty close together. Considering we have 5.95 million, I think we'll be okay. Well, I say we think we'll be okay. As long as we make enough money to pay back the loan, then we'll be okay. Uh, if that's not the case, then, well, whoops, I've made a huge mistake. But, in case you haven't noticed, I'm kind of just going to be focusing on doing passenger services because it's just, I found it easier. I also find it more fun. I don't know. I've, I've always liked that in these games. It's just doing passenger stuff. Right, so this go all the way up to the crossover point. Train might have to wait there. It might have to wait there. Or I might even have to wait there, but I'll just do it that way. Whatever. Um, okay, so that will be that'll be good. Right, what I also need to do, so we've got so many signals along here, so we can have lots of trains running. Going to get a waypoint in front of both of these so we can sort of route the trains to the station I want them to go in. So we've got the line one, which I didn't really name very well. Uh, I actually want it on the other side. So if I go be added afterwards. Oh, if I do it here, I guess. There we go. So now I'll jump over that side of the track. That's better. Uh, so this will be... Wait, what is this? We go from McAllen to Palmdale. All right. It's going to go... It's going to be train line one. So T1... 
Macau. No. You know what? Just T1. I don't care. I'm not going to name him. Can't be bothered. T1, just so it's not line one. <laughs> that makes no difference. It's still as useful, I mean, as useless as a line name. Uh, that's fine. New line. So this is going to go from here through this waypoint. So it's always on that side of the station. Then we're going to go all the way up here. No waypoints here because we don't really need it at the moment. And then that's it. So this will be train line two. So what I plan on doing, we've got T1 and T2. What I plan on doing is having, I guess, this train line continue over this way somewhere, maybe even up through to Palm Bay and continue up that way. And then this one will sort of continue over this way, probably out that. And sort of just expand across the map uh, is the idea. And I guess using McAllen as a starting point is probably not a good idea just because it's not really central. We might turn Glendale into more of a hub. Because uh, it looks like a better spot to sort of branch out from. Or maybe even, um, what is that, Waco? Waco? Yeah. Waco. Shuckers, bro. Waco. Uh, that looks more central. So we might even set up a hub here. And have like pretty much trains going everywhere from there. And I think I'm going to invest in that right now. I'm going to get a big or a longer platform. Eight tracks. I don't know if I'm going to use eight tracks ever. But... We're going to do it. Waco, bro. $800,000. Um, it's because I'm destroying that house. I don't really want to. Um, if I put it... See, I'm going to destroy houses there, too. I'm going to put it in a spot that... Maybe on the other side, over here. Ooh, it's pretty It's pretty hilly, though. Actually, yeah, that's a, that's a big problem on that side. How about over here? Because we're going to have it in a spot. Hopefully this town shouldn't grow too much with uh, not much going on here. Ooh, that's so expensive. We'll get it there. So then we should be able to feed this. That will be our next stop for this train. And then that will continue on. And then we'll have like a train line from there going out. There. And yeah, basically, going to turn that into a hub. Uh, but I want to make sure that the town doesn't expand first. But I'm going to just connect up these roads. Because, yeah, I don't want the town to expand because then it will just block the trains <laughs> that we need to put in. There you go, so that'll go there. Uh, cool. We'll come back to that. Let's see if we can get this train line going here. So on you, buy trains. Uh, we're going to go for the good old... Oh, I guess we're going to go for you. The, the better one. 40, <laughs> 45 kilometers an hour. Four. Passenger car. I guess we'll get three of them again, because that seemed to be a good number. Let's go T2. I guess we'll get two of them. One, two, three... I'm not going to get that train going yet, though. So what I'm going to do... Let's get going. So yeah, that train is respawning back in because it like, died. So this train should come out after this one clears the track. So after it gets past there, I guess. Oh, actually, you know what? I think I've... Uh, well, obviously, I've, I've bowled something up here. Wait for a free path, uh, because, hang on, pause, what, what is the pause hotkey in this game? Because what I've done actually, is this joins the track there, but it can't get over? It can't get to the, the actual platform it needs to go to? Damn it. Ugh. Uh, yeah, it doesn't join where it needs to. Come on. Collision. Collision with that stupid signal. So it's possible. Right there. Just makes it a little bit messier. So this could wait there. Then this train might have to wait there. And that's fine. Alright, let's see if that works. Come on. Come on. I think I've I think I've messed up a signal over here somewhere, because. Maybe this needs one here as well. Oh no, there it goes. Oh no, it's going the wrong way. No, 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 don't go that way. No, pause. What is the pause hotkey in this game? Turn around, you balls. Just go back to the depot. <laughs> this is going about as well as it could do. What is the pause hotkey in this game? Is it P? Nope. Because tab just does speed, but it doesn't pause. Spacebar's not pause. What? It's been so long since I played this. Controls. Pause. Pause is pause! Yeah, because there's a pause key on the keyboard, you turd. 
There we go. Good key assignment. <laughs> Damn it. All right, you go to line two. Now it should go out this way instead. And now I can pause the game too, which is nice. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's see. Do we have anyone waiting? I don't think so. No one waiting for T2. That's fine. They, they will eventually once it gets going. Right, so then we'll get this one moving, which now that we know that we can. Uh, once that one's pretty much at the other station. Because there's no point waiting until before then. And the problem with these trains being 1866 is that they're super slow. Oh, wow, we are down to 2 million. Oh, you know what? It's because I spent all the money on the trains, I guess. Uh, I might repay the loan for a bit. I'm just hoping we make some money. I'm hoping we make a profit. Because if we don't, that could be a disaster. Um, there we go. Come on. Make me the money. So that train's up there now. Looking like it's working beautifully. Okay, so the train is now... I, I think at the other end, is it? Yeah, I think it's actually coming back. Uh, I waited a little too long. Whoops. T2. Uh, there we go. So that will get going. Currently at a loss of $493,000. Ooh, which train's going to wait? Whoop! You have to wait, sucker. So these guys are making money, I assume. Because that's the, I think that's the most profitable line that we have. Actually, no, it's not. Why is it not making money now? Um... I think I may have made, uh, I think I may have made an error. 165. Do these make money? Oof. Not really. Maybe they were faster. Uh, well, look. We'll see how we go. <laughs> we'll, there's someone waiting. There's someone, there's three people. There's three people waiting. So we're, we're getting that. I think it's just, it's just a matter of time. Five people waiting for that line. Zero waiting for the other one. Still, which is not great. But there should be... Surely there should be some other people waiting for the other line. I say, surely there should be some other people waiting for the other line. Because you wouldn't want me to go bankrupt, would you? Would you? No, there's no one waiting. Uh, look at all my beautiful track work that I did. Look at, look at this. It's, uh, it looks beautiful right there. Oh, come on. Damn it. We have six people coming back, though. But this is certainly not making us any money. 16,000 this year. Whoa, crazy. Um, absolutely no one on the train. Damn it. The problem is... Okay, I got a million dollars. We'll sit on that. The, pro the problem is that we... Uh, there's a lot of people waiting for T1. T1 is popular. I should have put the faster trains on T1. Maybe we should swap the trains around. Because I, well, I assume these are faster, are they? Uh, 45... 30. 31, 32, 33. Pretty slow. So, yeah, those go faster. But I guess these have to go longer, though. Maybe. I don't, I don't really know. But these ones are pretty popular. But I... I still don't, they're not making money, are they, though? No. Just. Macallan Loop isn't making money. Palmdale Loop isn't making money. It's only losing a little bit, though. T1. 106,000. Okay. So, yeah, it, it's, it's doing okay. T2, minus 288. I think, no, I think it will work. It's just a matter of time, which I, I guess is the big problem. Like, do we have time to make this work before we go bankrupt? I don't know. It's one of the great questions of our time, of our generation, really. Zero people on the train, so you know that's pulling a good amount of money in. <laughs> uh, anyone waiting for the other train for the love of... Yes, three people. Four people. Oh, Right, here we go. Oh, yeah. This is it, guys. <laughs> oh, eight people just got on the train. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, so it's not it's not losing as much money anymore. <laughs> it's, it's still not making money, though. Does that have the money it made from the last trip? Running costs. No, I don't care about that. Uh, overview. I don't know. I just want to know how much it's making on average. Uh, so the other train is somewhere, somewhere 
over the rainbow. There's four people waiting there. How much is it coming back with? Seven people. Oh yeah. <laughs> God, no profit. Oh no. Come on. Here we go. Pulling into the station. Let's see the big sale. 37,000. Oh, we've had a profit so far this year. But that's only because it was good timing when the year reset and it got into the station. <laughs> well, if we can keep, look, if we can keep it up, no problem. Oh, the, the, the speed at which the, uh, the costs go up is a little too quick for how much we're making, or how quickly we make money. Though people are starting to use it now though. People are starting to use it. Oh, look at that, making money. <gasps> I, I still don't think we're going to get a profit this year. <laughs> still think it's going to be a few more years. I'm thinking maybe we should try and get some buses running around here, because that would definitely expand our reach. Actually, you know what? Where did I... I think that's all industrial there anyway. Where did I place this? How do I view? Uh, I'm just clicking random buttons at this point. Uh, I don't really... That's not what I want. How do I view the... Um... Again, I'm just clicking random buttons. Go away. Uh, actually, I think it's over here. Layers. That one. Yeah, we go. Yeah, see, I put the station right near a lot of industrial. I think if we get the residential, all the resident, residential over here, we could actually probably do a little bit better. So let's try and get some uh, some rude vehicles. Um, bus and tram stop. Be all right. There. So that will get that one. Come down this way. That will cover... That covers that. This will cover all of those houses. And then this can cover all of these houses. So that will actually cover pretty much the entire town. We'll just get another road depot out here. There you go. Uh, you know, buy road vehicle. Horse wagon. No, that one. One, two, three, four, five. Sure. New line. One, two, three, four. There you go. This is the... Oh, I don't know what town this is. Something. Good spacing out, guys. Uh, what is this? Glendale! Come on down! Woo! The Glendale Loop. Now, unfortunately, loops usually don't make money, as we've seen in the past. But, they should get people mo like moving about the town. Like That should allow us to access all the people in this area uh, that are just walking around. Hopefully they'll want to get on the bus and they'll end up over at the station. That's the idea, to try and reach more of the town. Because currently this only reaches that area there. I think if you upgrade it as well, it, uh... Yeah, if you upgrade it, it gets more of a reach. Yeah, not much more, though. If I make it, oh, if I make it bigger, an 8-track. Uh, not much. Uh, cancel. <laughs> don't want to do that. There's seven people waiting here, though. So that's looking pretty promising. A lot of people waiting around here as well. I'm wondering maybe if we get... Because, like, these guys... 404. They don't even make money. They just don't make money. Even though it's got four out of four people, I don't think these things are profitable. Can they be profitable? That's not, that's a person I clicked on. Might also be because they're so, why keep clicking on a person? Might be because they're so old as well, because I think I saw earlier that they like their lifespan had expired. They made money for a bit, but yeah, because they're getting so expensive, I guess, because the, uh, they're just old. Old horses, man. They'll get you up. So, this, uh, what is this? This is a green one. McAllen Loop. I'm going to auto replace these. Replacement uh, set vehicle. I guess it's going to be that again because it's the only thing we can replace it with. Uh, yes. So, that will cost us some money. What vehicles are at the end of the lifespan? I might also try. So, th this guy, for example, is he. Uh... No, that's my new one. Not Glendale Loop. What are my old ones? T2, still losing money. T1, making money though. Um, but everything else is still making money, so I'm not, I guess, not concerned about replacing those. It's just this this line here, I guess, really should be making money. Oh, look at that. That's what happens when you... <laughs> you know what, let's set auto-replace on all of these, because... When they get too old, they get super expensive. There you go. It's probably worth it. There you go. And these ones, set vehicle. Can't wait till we get new vehicles, because this is ridiculous. Uh, still got horse and cart. To be fair, it's still 1869, so it'll be a while before we get, like, some proper cars and proper, not cars, proper buses and all that. Uh, replace vehicles automatically, yes. So we'll get the good old horse and cart. <laughs> Whoops, click that again. Uh, 
Yes, please. Trains. I would like to set a vehicle. I guess we'll go that one. Add. One, two, three. Yes. I don't know if it's going to be like super duper expensive, but probably will. But we'll go with it. I assume I'll only do it if I can afford it. I assume. I, I don't know. Details. Does this have the lifespan or how much life is left in it? Age, eight years. But when does it uh get too old? I don't know. Probably. It probably I assume it lasts more than eight years. So we should be okay. All right. Train lines. Making money yet? T2? No. Not making money. Oh, 16 people though. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. This year could be profitable. Could. <laughs> no guarantees. It could be. So this one is coming back. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, governor. Oh my god, 29 people. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we, we actually might, uh, we might have cracked it, guys. Might have cracked the nail on the head, even though that doesn't make sense. Might have hit the nail on the head, if you will. Uh, let me just, bloop, let's go along with the train, because if this, this, this is going to make money. 29 out of 42 people, that's got to make money, right? It's the most we've ever had. So, rocketing into the station. This has just got to print money off. That's me printing money right there. That's that sound. Here we go. Train is in the station. Oh, look, that's almost covered the entire yearly. Because that's our yearly cost there. That's almost done it in January. So I think we're gonna be we're gonna be good, guys. This is only got eight people now, but we've pretty much covered the year with that. Because I think there's way more people waiting at the other station. Oh yeah, there is. Oh yeah, there's 39 people. Yes, here we go. This is going to start making money now. Oh, God, get over here. 16 people on this as well. Not too shabby. Last year's on top. I think we've got it. I think we've got it just in the nick of time with $200,000 left. 85000 Got a profit. It now has 42 people of 42 on the train. There's still seven left. <laughs> oh, I knew it was going to take time. I was just, that was pretty close. <laughs> that was pretty close. That, that was cutting it fine, that's for sure. This guy's coming along with only eight people on it, but uh, that's okay. Hopefully there's some more people waiting down here now. Nine people. Yeah, this, It's not as popular to go that way, but coming back to McAllen is pretty popular. Uh, and then we'll want to expand... Well, not right now, because we really cannot afford it. Uh, then we'll want to expand the train line out to Waco and eventually use this huge train station that we put in here and done nothing with. Uh, actually, where is... So this one's a little bit better positioned with the, all the residential there. It's quite good. But then we'll obviously do like a bus line or something around the town as well to really get it going. So I'm thinking T2 will expand up to here and probably head off this way. We'll have this. So we had this train line here, which is not... No, I guess it is possible to connect up there. And if we bring it like out this way, we could even bring it back in towards Waco. But then I guess it doesn't really... Maybe it would make more sense to have this train line head out this way and maybe terminate there and then have a separate train line that comes down this way. So you have like T3 that runs from St. Louis, Palm Bay, Elizabeth, and then to Waco. And then that would connect up with a terminal station here that goes onto T1, which would run this way. Because then that would connect up this town. Uh, so Palmdale instead of... Because at the moment it kind of curves up. I don't think it would make much sense to go through Palm Bay as well. It would probably go through Beaumont up to St. Louis. Maybe not even terminate there. Maybe the T2 would keep going up to was that Simi Valley? Oh my god, let's play Sims. Go check out my Sims channel guys. Yeah, it'd probably go up to there, I guess would make more sense. And the other train line would start here and go across that way. Oh, so much potential! But we're, ooh! I don't know if you saw that, but we were down to like 80,000 there. Cutting it fine! Woo! Yew! That was fine. So minus 11,000 this year. I want to see what we get this year because... We're basically teetering on the edge of breaking even. Which is better than not... It was better than losing 300,000 a year. Uh, <laughs> come on. Get me... Before before the end of the year, just get me one big sale. Oh, 42,000... 42,000. 42 people. Oh, it's not going to make it before December 20, 31st. Come on. No! <laughs> no! It didn't make it before December 31st, so now it looks like we lost 86,000. But we just earn it. See, if we had earned that 165, we would have made a profit. But I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty convinced that we should end up making a profit this year. We've got another 29 people rolling in from all the way out over there. 155,000, 33,000 profit this year. 
This train just made a profit last year, so I think it's only going to go up from there. The other train is right here. Last year, what did you do? You made a good profit, so we are doing pretty... Oh, look at it. Look at all the green. That is good. That is good. We are, we are on the up and up, guys. So next time, we'll be back expanding the train line with hopefully money that we're actually earning. Uh, so that'll be good instead of taking a huge loan. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time, and have an awesome day.